I didn't realize mm. that there was some tornadic activity in our area yesterday. Yes, and there was a lot of tornadic activity in our area. Just alone on our live streams here on News Channel 10, we caught seven different touchdowns. What? So let's just go through them. What? Just kind of as they went. So this is the first one okay. that we got. This was on our Lake Meredith Sky Tracker here. This was a beautiful one. We got some great photos in. I don't know, is it possible for us to take down the ticker on this one? I, I know it's kind of asking here last minute, but you can kind of see where it's oh, getting to the water there. I mean, look at that that footage oh. that we got. So this was all we were getting this live. Uh, Kevin Selly and Caleb were up that direction. They got some great images of it as well. This is a what? shot from John Chavez. As you can see, it kind of getting some dust and some water mixed up into it. And then this is what Alex and I saw. This what? was over near Lake McKenzie. This was tornado number three technically on the day. We had two up near Lake Meredith. This was technically tornado number three. As we, this was our first one that we saw as you can see some really good mean rotation in that that we were really watching closely a lot of storm chasers out where we were at this was out near lake mckenzie and this tornado really kind of started out it kind of picked back up a little bit and then we decided to head over towards silverton this was what? looking north from silverton yesterday this was easily the biggest and most long lasting tornado of the days you can kind of see it taking on that classic stovepipe shape we were able to watch this one this was all live on our stream so if you watch our severe weather streams it's not just us talking radar all the time we get you live images like this that no one else is getting and as you can see right there i mean look at that tornado it kind of changed shapes over time but the good news is it, as far as we know, no damage reports. We did see some reports of some minor damage from that one out near Lake Meredith, waiting on an official report from the National Weather Service. But look at this one. As that tornado was kind of dissipating, dissipating a little bit, look just to the left of it there. That's actually a secondary rotation what? that popped up from it. So that was pretty impressive to see. So we really got to see a lot of different things. And then I got to meet a viewer, Case and George. He sent us this one. This is out near the Burson Ranch down oh. near Silverton. They had a pretty good view of it. If you could see on that last video we had, just off towards the right, there was a ranch off in the distance. And there's what their view looked like. And as you can see, the tornado just fizzles out oh. right there. So, I mean, really, I mean, full team coverage. You had Tanner, you had Dave in studio keeping an eye on radar, keeping folks informed. Anytime there was a tornado warning, we were on air. You had Kevin, Selly up north. They were on that tornado warning storm. Alex and myself were on those storms off towards the south. So really, I mean, a better day for our, our storm chasing team for sure. A lot going on. We're going to wait on some official reports from the National Weather Service on those tornadoes to see if they did cause some damage in some places. We personally did not see them cause any damage. Sure. But, I mean, we've been seeing some great viewer photos and uh, footage coming in. I'm going to post some of my favorites here a little oh, bit good. later on in okay, the day. Good. But that QR code that we normally show, you can go to newschannel10.com. Our community page, there's a send us your pictures and videos button. If you got any crazy pictures, if it's just cool looking clouds, if you did get some pictures of the tornadoes, send them in to us. We'd love to share those for sure because we've really seen some great angles of some of those tornadoes come in. But yeah, seven different tornado touchdowns in our live coverage. Dave was saying himself, he says that's a News Channel 10 record and a personal record for he himself. Definitely a record for me. I've never gotten, I mean, we had five different sure. touchdowns just ourselves down near Silverton. But Banner Day, very exciting stuff absolutely worth the lack of sleep for sure but <laughs> from what we know nobody injured or anything like that and that's what we good. love about it yeah, that, that's yeah. the good news is we get yeah. excited about us weather nerds we get excited about those tornadoes <laughs> but of course that excitement well you know our, our number one priority is keeping folks safe and you know of sure. course when they do tear things up when they do threaten life and property that's of course we take that very seriously yeah. but good thing from what we know yesterday nobody hurt from it no major you know devastation so, so that's glad. that's very good news for sure